So we can now start implementing our repository interface. So in the services, I'll create another class and I'll call it band album repository. So in order to implement our interface, we have to indicate that we want to do so. So we will implement I band album repository here. And you can see it's underlined because it needs to implement all the methods from the interface. So I'm just going to implement the stop methods first. So it brings all the methods in our repository interface and we can start implementing them. But before we start implementing the methods, we need to bring in the DB context because that's where the data sets are for the album and band. So I'm going to create a variable that's going to be private read only. And it will be our DB context, which we named band album context. And I'll simply call it band album context. But since it's a private variable, I'll use the underscore in front of it. In order to use it, we need to bring in the namespace. And it's in the DB context folder. So we have it in our class, but in order for us to be able to use it, we need to inject it into the constructor. So in the constructor, I will pass the type of band album context. And inside the constructor, I will set the variable band album context to it. But on a second thought, I'm just going to rename this to simple context. It's shorter and it's really quite obvious that we are talking about DB context. So our context will equal the context that is being injected into this constructor. But before we use it, we should check if it is now, because if it is, then we need to throw an exception. So we can do an if statement and check if context equals now, or we can use double question mark, which is a null check. It means the same thing. If context equals now, then we will throw new argument null exception. And we can leave it like this, or we can pass in the name of our context. So if we try to inject null context, we will throw argument null exception with the name of the context to it. And now we are ready to start implementing our methods.